All right. So, just want to explain to you guys about uh, iPhone unlocking and why I do not provide iPhone unlocking services at my store. Uh, when you're paying a store like mine to unlock your iPhone, you're basically getting what I would consider hacker access or unauthorized access to Apple's servers where somebody will go in there whether it's someone working for the carrier who's taken uh, money on the side for doing these unlockings or whether it's someone who outright hacks into Apple servers and basically says to unlock this phone because at the end of your processing time whenever your iPhone unlock has been processed you'll always be told whether it's by the carrier which is the only authorized way to get it unlocked or whether it's through a shop like mine you'll be told okay it's been processed now you need to either plug it into iTunes and uh, you know communicate with Apple via iTunes or you need to pop in another SIM card and go through the activation steps where you're gonna connect the phone to Wi-Fi and and uh, communicate with Apple and they're gonna let you know uh, that you know then the, then you're gonna bounce out to the uh, to the springboard and you're gonna at that point in time have an unlocked phone now the thing is later on when there's a software update or sometimes any not even necessarily a software update but any communication to Apple with the phone your phone stands a damn good chance of relocking, which is why I do not provide this service. What will happen is, let's say you had a phone from Rogers, and uh, you know you got it unlocked at a shop like mine about a year ago. What will happen is, um, you know, a year down the road when iOS 10 comes out, and you go ahead and do the software update the phone will relock and the, and the reason is that Rogers will simply take that list of, of phones those IMEIs that should be locked and they will simply send those over to Apple and Apple will then relock them right they'll say these are all the phones uh, all the IMEIs that we have that it should still be unlocked and I mean this is as easy as sending an Excel file over to Apple and Apple just simply inputs that you know into their system it's not it's not that somebody has to sit down and do a lot of work or anything like that um, so it's a very simple process and uh, uh, for them to do and one that will happen so I really strongly suggest that you do not get your iPhone unlocked through stores like mine the only way to do it is through the carrier and uh, you know there's there's also uh, other issues uh, even when you get it done through the carrier let's say you got the phone from the carrier six months ago and uh, you know you you uh, you have a problem now with the power button which is a common problem with iPhones, and you went to, you know, you've you've paid uh, your, you've paid Rogers to unlock it, the fifty dollars. Now, you uh, went ahead and uh, you've paid off your contract. Even let's say you have no ties to Rogers anymore, right? But you've paid, you've paid off your contract. You've paid for the unlocking. You had a problem with the power button. You went and got that phone exchanged at Apple. Apple gives you back a Rogers locked iPhone and now you cannot go back to Rogers and ask them to unlock it because they have you know these uh, carriers have have these uh, requirements that you're with them for 90 days your account is in good standing and then they get to bill you whatever they decide to bill you for the unlocking service so because of the way that Apple has this set up it's different from any other phone and because Apple maintains control of that lock on their server, Apple has yet again given a big fuck you to their users. Um, I mean, what are you supposed to do? There's, at that point in time, you have no choice but to come to a shop like mine and get that done. And at my shop, we flat out refuse to do it, and we and we try and educate you a little bit as to why you shouldn't. And you know, the fact that Apple does all these things. Is is you know and and and, uh, and people still buy these phones is astounding, you know. So, anyways, uh, that's uh, that's the deal with that. And I, I really don't know why anyone 
Apple makes a great phone. You know, it's it's not my phone of choice. I use a BlackBerry, um, but uh, you know, it's a it's a good phone that they make. If it works for you, and uh, and uh, they work very well, um, but. Apple really does not care much about their users and uh, you know Apple's had exploding batteries before like the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 but Apple didn't do a recall on any of their phones uh, and uh, you know and people still are uh, lining up to get those new phones and they haven't got half of the heat but um bum that Samsung's got right uh, from the Note 7 they haven't gotten any of that heat uh, they you know then let's talk about the touch IC uh, and the iPhone 6 and 6 plus let's talk about that you know uh, Apple hasn't gotten any heat from that uh, you know uh, Apple didn't get very much heat at all from the Air 53 um, you know the home button replacements so you know again uh, you know, Apple makes a beautiful product and a good product, uh, but people need to stand up and bitch about this stuff. I mean, this is insane. You know, uh, if you bought a phone uh, that was, you know, locked to a carrier, uh, you're basically just shit out of luck, you know? Because um, Apple will not unlock that phone for you. You can call, you can get Steve Jobs up from the grave. And that phone is not going to be unlocked for you. Uh, Apple does not unlock phones. They will sell you an unlocked phone, and basically they are the only ones that you should get an iPhone from. Uh, so if an iPhone works for you, I strongly recommend that you go directly to Apple. You do not get that phone subsidized from a carrier, uh, and you definitely do not pay full price to a carrier for that phone. You go right down to the Apple store, or you order that from Apple online, and you will get yourself an unlocked phone that will be forever unlocked. And in addition to that, I strongly recommend that you do get the extra year of the Apple Care Plus warranty, so that way you'll have two years. And what I have done is told a lot of my customers, if they like to get a new phone every year, what you should do is do exactly as I just said, get that phone from Apple, uh, get that extra year warranty, and then when you go to go sell that phone, you know that the next person buying that phone will never have a problem with the phone being unlocked, and if you've done it, if you've upgraded within that two year time period, they will still have a certain amount of warranty left from Apple, which is better than warranty from any other, uh, any, uh, any of the carriers or, or any uh, shop like mine. You know, uh, they're the ones that made the phone and, and they warranty it uh, the best. So, you know, that being said, uh, I think that uh, people need to really start standing up about the iPhone unlocks. Um, you know, Air 53 came out a little bit, and uh, and something was done with that. Well, now I think we need to talk about the unlocking of the iPhones, because quite frankly, that's that's a bunch of bull. That's a bunch of bull, and um, you know, so yeah, that's my take on the Apple iPhone unlocking and how you should uh, stand up for your yourself and getting uh, getting some we should get some progress here you know we should really in this day and age Apple a big company like Apple fucking us over like this they don't even offer the unlocking service at least if they offered the unlocking service then that would be great you know um, then then these customers that wanted these iPhones unlock could just get it done from Apple and then when a software update comes out it won't relock so yeah that's all I have to say about that